Um, what time is it? It's eight. It is eight twenty. And are, are we in Oregon yet? No, no. still in Washington. Still in Washington. Washington. Um, all right. So what happened was we called the place we were going to this morning, or the place in Kent, Washington. We called them today to let them know he's going to be there wow. and to see if they have parking, basically. But anyway, what ended up happening was, long story short, there was some confusion with the load, and they said, well, we don't even have you on our list, but anyway, we got that all cleared up. It was just the wrong load number, not not on our part, on somebody else's part. Um, so anyway, um, then the guy ended up calling me back like two hours later, and he said, hey, where are you guys at? And I said, uh, coming up through Oregon on, on, what was like, on 82? And I said, like, 250 miles from you guys, and he goes, if I can get a crew to stay over tonight, would you guys be interested in being unloaded tonight instead of tomorrow? I was like, heck yeah. So we ended up getting unloaded today. We got there at, we should have been there at five, but we got caught in traffic in Seattle. Oh my God, that was a disaster. Seattle traffic at rush hour is no fun. Wow, it was packed. So we ended up getting there at like 5.30, took them like 15 minutes to unload us. We only had 95 pieces or something, whatever we told you. So we got unloaded there, um, got out of there, right into more traffic. It was a disaster again coming out of there. Tacoma, one, then one, Olympia. Once we got on five, it wasn't bad back there, but once we got on five is where we started clogging up again. Well, Just like she said, through Tacoma and that. Uh, Just construction. Yeah, it was mainly construction because it was slowed down to like, what, 45 or something. But anyway, so we got out of there and now we're heading down to uh, Salem area say that um, kind of a little suburb down that area we're going to pick up some pallets uh, seven o'clock I think well, we can be there at seven between seven and three yeah it's a it's a window we can be there it's first come first serve there so um, we're gonna try to get there as close to seven as possible but we're both really tired. tired I know she's tired she only got like three four hours sleep today I don't know why, but I just absolutely slept like crap last night. And we're just both exhausted. It's been a really long day. Um, we love the miles coming over here, but the trip is just exhausting. Yeah, I don't know why. It's only like 100, 100 miles more than California. Yeah, it doesn't seem that much, but man, it's so exhausting coming over here. I think it's just the mountains and everything well, else. And, and the altitude, I'm constantly, I constantly have a headache over here. Yeah, it just plugs you up something fierce, but it's good miles. Definitely good miles, though. Can't complain about the miles. We got like 2,000 miles just coming out. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we're heading from Seattle down to... Oh, seatbelt's choking me. Heading from Seattle down to um, Salem area there. Down in Oregon. Pick up our pallets tomorrow morning. And then these pallets, they said that... The place we're taking them in Milan, Illinois, they said that those people want these pallets ASAP. So the delivery date is the 29th. I think we'll but there. Patty told us today she said don't worry about the delivery date she said they want them as soon as you can get them there so I don't know what makes these pallets so special but because we make pallets right in Muscatine where we live there's a bunch of pallet companies but these must be special pallets we'll have them there Thursday, so. yeah so that's about it um, I'm gonna keep it short because you guys had a lot of drive video before this, this that was coming through Idaho Idaho, Oregon, Washington, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, we didn't get any video when we got to that place because those guys got off work at 2.30 and they waited until 5.30 and when we got there, they were all standing outside, literally staring at us, waiting for us to get back in. So we just hurried up, whipped the doors open and got back in and they were already in the trailer. By the time I bumped the dock, they dropped the plate down on the trailer. I mean, I didn't even set the brakes yet and they had the plate dropped. So, um, so yeah, that's it for now. Just a short update for you guys so you know what's going on and then um, we'll we pick back up. Parking at a yeah, we got park pilot. we had to reserve parking because we knew by the time we get there it's gonna be nine o'clock. Well, there would not have been any parking. I tried to call the place but it was a half an hour late. They closed at three thirty and I called till four, so we don't know if we can park there or not. So. might be able to park right where we're going, so anyway, so that'd be it. What is that smell? It smells terrible. It smells like there's a swampy area around here. Um, Yep, so that's it. Uh, we'll pick back up with you guys in the morning when we get over to the pallet place. Let you know where we're at and all that.